In this video, I will show you how to work with header content. So basically, the header content consists of two parts, headers logo and headers menu. So let's go to the theme settings page, go to the header tab, and then you can see header content box here, where you can see two parts, logo, image, URL, and header menu. So this is your default header menu. For example, I don't like it. I don't like this one. So let's try. What happens if I delete the logo image URL? Click Save Settings. And then refresh. So basically, this is your blog title where you can change it in the general settings page. So let's say. You can upload any kind of image for your header logo, but we recommend you to use a small logo here. No need to make it too big. This is just for, for an example. Who? This is your new logo. For the header menu, you can go to the appearance menu. Okay, so basically, this is your header menu. So, let's say if you want to create new menu, you only need to click this one. Okay, let's say header demo create menu and then I want to show my header demo my contact us page my shop layout page this is for an example or I can view all it's better chart anything and I click add to menu okay save menu and then for the theme location I will choose the my header demo I will click save I will refresh and you will see this is my header menu if you don't like uh, the title homepage demo you can click this one and then I will change to let's say home save I will click refresh already home and if you want to let's say make a drop down menu let's say I want to add the checkout page and then click add to menu here and I want to make it here you can drag and drop to arrange your menu and then move to the right to make it soup menu I will click save change and then I will refresh my website again and you can see this one And the last, let's say you can control your menu page by click screen option here. Let's say I want to show product categories. You can hide it. You can also display product text. And then you can just check it for example click add to menu and then click save change done now you will see your check it product category in your menu